So we're going to try to get some of this happening down the bottom now. We're going to try to include some blues in here. And I see this, a ref, yeah, yeah, this reflection in here going all the way across like that. So it's sort of like where, yeah, it's that diagonal we see. That's where we created that. So I want to try to blend some of these tones that are almost, let's see here, combination. I just started with that, but a combination of white and burnt sienna. A little bit of greens in there. That's sap green. Okay, so I'm just going to throw that in right now. Just kind of wash it in a little bit. And then I need to get a little darker, so I'm going to get the, the dark blue in there with white. So the colors is the key, getting them colors right and just kind of getting in there. I can fix that afterwards. It's still dark, so I'm going to get that dark one made up, which is the green, the purple, and the blue that we created way back up in this area here. See how dark that is? Mm -hmm. So now that kind of blends right in. And my brush feels too big, so I'm going smaller. A little more control. And it kind of comes across in this way here. So I'm really feathering it so that I get the true effect. Let's see. Some more darks are in this area. Purples are in there too. Whoops. A little too thick. I can go back into that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that off. I think it's too heavy. That's it. That's enough. I can pull the blue in there with it. So wherever I seek these colors, I'm just going, I'm just feathering them all in. There's a lot of this color in here too. Plus red. You take that plus red, and it's you got the nice orange that's going on in there too. Mm. Now, see, these are getting they get they go kind of strokey, so you know I'm just going to blend it as I go along. Mm. 